Hi Aunt. Julia here recording this. September 26, 2022. It's been taking forever to upload these little short recordings. Pretty much 20 hours plus. <laughs> Very uh, lame internet. But I can usually watch YouTube videos okay. So I don't know. Even when we paid more. It wasn't that great because we're kind of in the bottom of a vortex. We're surrounded by hills. But yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, I was thinking about how in our society, in our culture, in order to form partnerships, it's either about business or sex. And it's rarely just uh, friendship partnerships. And I think, I guess, uh, some of these off-grid communities and communities in general have that kind of situation. They uh, put everything together and help each other out. But usually if it's two people in a partnership, it's based on sex. And... I think it would be cool if there were more friendship partners, partnerships, committed partnerships. And uh, some of those might last longer than some of the ones based on sex. Sex is so over pushed and overrated, really, in our culture. I mean, it's the bottom line for almost all young people now. They don't get to know each other. They go straight to having sex first. And uh, then sometimes there's babies from that. And of course those babies aren't going to be grow up healed emotionally. So it just creates more and more havoc. And I talked about that in my uh, Mother is Divine video. About how, you know... Sex is so much at the forefront of everything, you know, even with young kids now, they're doing all the transgender shows and stuff in elementary schools and giving kids, like, all these different sexes to choose from as to what they are. And, uh, yeah, it's just gone really crazy and it was already bad enough. Just since, you know, my upbringing, that, you know, sex is just so pushed out there and it's how so many people base their relationships. And then you have the pornography industry, which is horrendous. Most of the people in porn films in the porn industry come from sexual abusive background. And uh, then they capitalize on it. So yeah, we really got our priorities messed up with that. Sex is, uh, should be way down the line in relationships. You know, you should really know the person and who they are. It should start with the friendship first. But that's just not how it works. You know, again, it's just so pushed. We're so programmed to go there. And uh, we're just programmed to live in our lower chakras in general. Survival, food, sex, entertainment. We just stay down there. Never move up through the solar plexus. To where we can really start to evolve and grow. And uh, develop our immortal personalities. You're not going to develop your mortal personality too much if you stay in the lower chakras your whole existence. And um, that's what's pushed on us. That's what we're programmed to do. And uh, that's what most of us do. And so, yeah, it's just uh, time that we start making our own way about how partnerships can be defined and I think friendship partnerships would be really cool
and there's no need to make anything legal but if you wanted to you could of course in today's world you can marry anything <laughs> but uh yeah and just having that focus on the lower chakras is where they want it and that's where most young people are and I just, the dating world today, I'm just glad I'm old and over it, is insane. I feel for young people. I really feel for young people that are trying to date. But hopefully, you know, they'll go back to being more, uh, or less promiscuous, you know? This promiscuity has got us in a big mess. And, uh, it's like society's pushing it even more and it's definitely not the way to go so if you are young you know consider relationships beyond just the sex plus got tangled in a stick there it's just really tough for uh girls these days women to even live up to what the boys expect because if the boys are watching porn all the time then they have these expectations out of these women and uh, there's no way they'll ever live up and the women you know already have low self-esteem in our culture because again that's programmed into us from mainstream media in every direction and then to add that on top, yeah, and then the whole trust issue, it's so easy for people to be promiscuous and to uh, have uh, affairs on the side, you know, with the internet. It used to be hard work for a guy to go out and get laid. It's never been difficult for a woman. But, uh, yeah, for a guy, it used to be like a challenge. It wasn't just get on the internet on an app. And find someone in your neighborhood. And um, to me, that's just a sad state of affairs that we've gotten into. And I used to be a total open-minded liberal about that and say, oh, it's just sex. But it's not just sex. Sex is huge. I mean, you're having some major energy exchange when you have sex with someone. And... Um, yeah, it's just tossed around too easily. It's uh, the first thing people, you know, embark on in their relationships often. And uh, they go from there. And it's just not working. You know, you can look around at relationships. They're not working. Very few people are, are really happy, content, long-term relationships that have sex involved. And... Um, I really do think you can have immaculate conception. There's people who talk about this, where you don't, men don't ejaculate. They they orgasm, but they don't ejaculate. They raise their chrism oil and they keep it, and that helps them be in more heightened states, more in touch with their so-called supernatural abilities. But um, when two people really in love connect, and even though the man does it ejaculate they can still create another being so yeah the less sex the better and uh if this simulation is almost over anyway we probably don't need more a lot more kids and uh i know roberto over at toltec holistic school tells people not to have kids that it's just a place to put some of these um not such good immoral personalities, just housing for them. But anyway, yeah, it's just a big mess the way relationships are right now. So I just wanted to mention that I think it would be good if there were more partnerships that weren't based on sex. I think that could be successful with the right types of people, with uh, honest, genuine, authentic giving people so you definitely have to be selective just like you would with any relationship but uh, I think that would be cool if more people 
had partnerships that weren't based on sex. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, <clears throat> wherever you are. And uh, remember to always stay focused on what you want, and always help others if you can. Ciao, ciao.